how the world is reacting to the attack on Salman Rushdie. A sage of outrage and support are pouring in from all corners of the globe after writer Salman Rushdie was stabbed at an upstate New York venue where he was due to speak Friday. The Indian-born British author, who has received death threats for his 1988 book, The Satanic Verse, is on a ventilator is on a ventilator after being stabbed at least twice, including once in the liver. He is expected to lose one eye, according to his agent. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said in a tweet that he was appalled by the incidents and expressed support for Rushdie's recover. Appalled that Sir Salman Rushdie has been stabbed while exercising a right we should never cease to defend. Right now, my thoughts are with his loved ones. We are all hoping he's okay, Johnson said Friday. French President Emmanuel Macron also tweeted his support for Rushdie following the attack. 33 years Salman Rushdie has embodied freedom and the fight against obscurantism. He has been the victim of a cowardly attack by the force of haters and barbarism. His fight is our fight. It is universal. Now more than ever, we stand by his side, Macron said. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese also commended the attack, calling it sickening and cowardly. This senseless violence against a celebrated author is also an assault on global freedom of expression and deserve unequivocal condemnation. May he have a full recovery, Albanese added. The 75-years-old novelist, the son of a successful Muslim businessman in India, was educated in England, first at Rubji School and later at the University of Cambridge, where he received an MA degree in history. He later spent a decade under British protection after his fourth novel, The Satanic Verse, prompt the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Kuhola Khomeini, to issue a religious decree, or fatwa, calling for his death. The bounty against Rushdie has never been lifted. However, in 1998, the Iranian government sought to distance itself from the fatwa by pledge not to seek to carry it out. But in February 2017, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei reaffirmed the religious edict. American writers and organization have also been left reeling from the attack. Rushdie has been living in the United States in the recent years. Press Freedom from PEN America said in a Friday statement that the organization is reeling from shock and horror after Friday's attack. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.